But this morning we do have uh, flash services. I should have let that video go. I don't know why I forgot about it. All right. So we will have flash services this morning. Uh, it can it, occasionally it does make a rock a rocker. So um, be careful of that. All right. <clears throat> so we'll have to get ready for that first, and then uh, we'll go on from there. Dollar yen. All right, dollar yen. Oh, it's already it's got uh, it's got a head and shoulders in. Now, why does it have a head and shoulders in? Because we've had this long move with lots of money coming in and buys. So it takes a while to get out of the buys into the sales. They don't just exit their trade and then keep going down. All right, they've got to have they've got to exit their trade. There have got to be buyers there who want it, take it up, do the head, the shoulder. There's got to be buyers who want it, and then they sell it down. Buyers still want it. All right, and that puts the right shoulder in. All right, <clears throat> so they're actually selling to the dumb money is what they're doing. All right, so uh, uh, dollar yen uh, got it to the downside. Got plenty of room down here because dollar yen has a hundred and sixty two pip ATR. And these are huge ATRs for August, by the way. And we're almost through August. And then the ATR should go up. Wow, that'll be crazy in September and October. So it's one of the reasons why we're doing a, a um, uh, open house uh, next week. Starting next week for two weeks, we'll have an open house. If you got somebody that's a trader who wants to come in and take a look at what we do, that'll be the best time to do it. And at the end of that time, we will open up Fast Track for a, a live class, which we only do a couple times a year. So just FYI. But why are we doing that? Because then traders can be ready for the fall movement. All right. So what do the three musketeers say? Three musketeers say we're dying out. We might be trying to turn it. Now we're still going up. We're trying to turn it. We're still going up. We're trying to turn it. So it's just a little early here. All right. But if we get the move, we'll put slope support across the bottom right here. And if we get a break to the downside, this is the line of demarcation. Above here, I'm a buyer. Below here, I'm a seller. And if we get a, a break hook and go here, this would be trade one right there down to the 137 even number. Trade two is a break of the 137. Trade three is down here with one two, three positions in. So you got five positions in this dollar yen. That's a heck of a trade right there. <clears throat> Turn and that's a little di uh, dicey right now because it hasn't happened. We'll make that, oh, wait a minute. I just said that and they just see, they just push it through because they're going to telegraph what their intention is to do, right? Well, there's an announcement in 15 minutes. Why are they pushing it? Because they have an agenda. They have an agenda to tell everybody what they're trying to do. They are manipulating the market. If you think this is random, you are wrong. It is not uh, random. So they're looking for negative, right? And 30 seconds. Oh, wait, you're right. Okay, sorry. Okay. All right. So dollar yen now becomes a good one. And that's right here. Bad news. Uh, there we go. And it should come up pretty quick. There it is. <clears throat> All right. And there it is, flash services uh, came in at 50. That's dollar positive right there. And uh, <clears throat> that was on the pound. It's negative, dollar negative, significantly. See that? 44.1, all right? So no hurry in the Forex. We haven't missed anything, all right? <clears throat> so dollar yen is the biggest trade for sure. All right, so how do we trade this? We go down to the one-minute chart, all right? There we go. And this has got to go sideways. All right. The reason it has to go sideways is because the market, every time there's a fundamental announcement, there are traders in here who will straddle. They will put a buy here and a sell here. And their thought process is no matter which way this goes, I'm going to be in. And the bankers all know that. And there's $400 billion of retail money in the market every day. 90% <clears throat> of them are going to lose. All right. So their goal is to get them in one way and then get them in the other way. All right, which is a whipsaw. All right, so that's why you want to stay out of these. All right, then uh, we need three candles that go sideways. All right, that's what we need. And our entry orders, this is all traded with entry orders. Right now, the entry order would be about 136.80 for the target at 135.88, with another one below the 136.50 and another one below this T30 and hold for the target. All right, dollar Swissy, all right, I mean, a dollar, dollar yen. All right. All right, so you now have one, two, three candles here, okay? And you can see the wick right there, all right? So your entry order has to be below that wick. It's at 136.78. I'd put it at 136.74. The next one would be not the third, 136.62. That's a fib, but there's a 136.50 there. You got to go below the 50. If you haven't done, 
your 50s and 100 numbers, then you don't know that. All right. So you got to go do them. You got to put a line on the 50s and see how often they respect it. You got to put a line on the hundreds and you got to do it on a chart and watch all your charts and see which ones happen. So entry order below that uh, 136.70, another one below 136.50, probably 42. And, you know, I might hold that one because yeah, there's a lot of room in here. But as long as I got two positions in, I'll be fine here. So give me a second. I'm going to put that in. Dollar yen. There we go. All right. Got him. This, this is pretty bad. That's a bad number. A really bad. It's really deviated. So they're probably just going to go. So uh, I'm already in now. And uh, there we go. All right. Everybody good? You're in too, Javier. Okay. Pete's in. Okay. Two, two creators in. Anybody else in? Daniel's in. Okay. So we've got three traders in. So it's a live trade this morning. All right. Now you you don't be in a hurry to move that stop because this is a, this could they could whipsaw this thing and your stop's got to be able to handle that. All right. So to remember that. Trade one, if you were with me last night, we went through that. How you have to move stops. It's a little tricky. All right. So uh there we go. Live trade down on the UJ. All right, let's go look at the UJ. All right, is it going? Yes, it is. Okay, see there. All right, so what was it? It was a flag pattern, Mark. See that? Uh, the danger is an ABC, but it was a flag pattern, okay? So uh should be doing well on this thing now. Uh, I've got uh, uh, my second position's already gone in on that wick. So I got two positions in right now. All right, looking for a third position below here. Uh, now I'm just going to trade the two positions right there. Just that big mover right there. Trade one is here. Trade two is here. See? Snowman. Pretty easy to see. All right. So trade one is here. All right. One down on 136.50. Trade two is here. All right. So it should be in trade two with two positions on the way, underway. So this is why you got to use entry orders. You, know? you can't. If you're looking for a market order, you're not going to get them in a funding. You got to do it all with entry orders, and 85% of your trade should be entry orders. All right. Now retail traders coming from the retail world are used to clicking in and clicking out. So 85% of your trades are entry orders. All right. So you got to flip that. You got to change that. All right. If you don't change it, you're still trading like dumb money, and what will end up happening? You're going to lose. All right? So underway, doing well. All right. Now, everybody was hezzed up. We probably only have four traders who took it. But, uh, you know, there's, uh, you know, 40 people in here right now. And most likely everybody's going, I wish I'd have traded it. You know, you have to be, uh, you have to look at it. You have to be decisive. You have to plan the trade. And then you got to execute. All right, bounced. Oh, wow. There you go. All right. Yep. Um, I'm in and out. Totally in and out. Nice. Sweet. 91 pips for me, but folks, there you go. All right, there you go. How many traders were in it? If you're in the UJ, you made money pretty quickly. Anybody? Who's in the UJ? We can actually do pip captures today. All right, let's do pip captures on the UJ right now. What do we got on the UJ live trade this morning? All right, from live trade here down to here. Uh, 140 plus two more for mats. Very cool. Anybody else? Nice trade, mats. 140 plus two more. So probably 200 pips for mats. Anybody else? Where are you? We had oh, well over that a minute ago. Uh, mats, would you repost under uh, everyone? Uh, repost it under, under everyone. Change your chat to everyone and repost it. Thank you. Uh, Robert, 74 and 57. All right. Uh, Matt's one. Thank you, thank you Matt's. Okay. Uh, Daniel. Um, Sixty-six, forty-nine, and forty. Sweet. Anybody else? Wonder if they knew the ATR target. What do you think? Do you think they knew where the ATR target was? They knew exactly where it was. That's where they exited because they knew where it was. They knew that was the target. 82 plus two more for Abdul. Nice job, everybody. Way to go. There you go. Good work. Way to go. Nice work. 
All right, in and out. That's rare for us to happen, but it does happen, and that was sweet. Uh, 